Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today I've been inspired by Morgana's signature wetland and marshy landscape paintings that she's so well known for. And I've decided to have a go at something similar myself in a sort of semi-abstract impressionist style. And I'm really thrilled to be able to share with you that Morgana has just posted her um, latest wildlife vlog and she's painting up a storm with this amazing seascape so it would be fantastic if you could sort of pop over there tell her I sent you leave her a like and subscribe to her channel I'm sure you will thoroughly enjoy being taken on an amazing stormy beach walk I'm using Saunders Waterford cold press watercolour paper 11 inches by 15 inches or 28 centimetres by 30 centimetres. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorator's masking tape. It isn't pre-stretched, it will buckle a bit but then flatten out as it dries. My board's at an angle of about 20 degrees and I'm using a large wash brush to um, wet the page and I'll be painting wet in wet just using two colours, raw sienna and Payne's grey. So that's my wet in wet wash just about done using gravity and tipping and tilting the board to help the washes to flow where I want them to. I'm now going to turn the board back round 90 degrees to the right orientation and I'm going to add some thicker raw sienna and Payne's grey across the bottom to create the marsh. Then I shall add texture by scraping through with a palette knife and a sprinkle of salt, which will give me even more of a wonderful texture.
so that's my sky wash done and now my marsh has been created hopefully the salt will give me some lovely textural effects and just increase the look or impression of a marshy landscape there because each grain of salt will push the damp paint away and create a little tiny bloom which will give me that textural pattern i now need to leave it to dry completely It's dried back really nicely. I'm very happy with the sky. Um, I'm glad I kept the Payne's Grey so strong across the top because it gives me that dramatic and yet atmospheric sky that I was looking for with a nice light touch across the marsh, but nice shadows and textures in the marsh too. You can see that I've penciled in a flight of geese uh, at a slight angle, so it looks like they've just taken off from the marsh and they're wheeling around and ready just to fly off to somewhere new. I'm going to paint them continuing with the limited palette of two colours, Payne's Grey for the wings and Raw Sienna for the bodies. I'm using a small calligraphy brush, but any small brush with a point, a good point, will do for this sort of detail. So here I'm just trying to create the impression of these flying geese without too much detail. And of course, the amount of detail you either put in or leave out is entirely down to personal preference. Um, anything in watercolour painting is. It's always good if you can try and make the painting your own. Here it is with the tape removed and um, I hope you can see how effective the wet in wet sky is. Um, how much freshness and life there is in such a, a simple um, yet um, atmospheric um, watercolour effect created by these wet in wet washes. Um, and you can see how simple the geese are and yet again very effective but as I say you could add more detail if you prefer you could add um, some detailed reeds in the marsh and of course you could add um, some misty distance like a distant shore um, across the horizon line but I quite like um, this sort of less is more approach. Let me know in the comments what you think um, and I hope you'll try something similar using your own choice of colours and your own choice of scene. Don't worry if um, you don't get it right first time. That's not the way watercolour works. It takes quite a lot of practice, a lot of trial and error, but that's all part of the fun and the learning process. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that follows us on Patreon. Um, take care. I'll see you soon and happy painting. Bye.